in the way that we're all sort of obsessed with this idea of pitting humans against machines, I just wonder why, why you think that is, and if, it, if, if we're afraid of the idea of them overtaking us, right? right? I think when people watched, I know when I watched Gary you know, lose, and the idea of people were like, ah, right? This moment of like, oh no, what does that mean? And I think there's a couple of things. First of all, uh, we're hierarchical creatures uh, by nature. That's the kind of uh, social system that uh, we've evolved to, to, to manage our mutual dependencies and needs. So we think a lot about hierarchies, right? And we think about where we are on the hierarchy of creatures. And for a very long time, uh, humans assumed uh, that uh, above us could only be angels or gods. Um, but in the, in the material universe, there was just us, right? Uh, and then we began to ask questions about, for example, forms of higher animal intelligence, non-human animals that might uh, have intellectual capacities of their own. So that's been fascinating to people uh, for, uh, for as long as we've been able to uh, understand that possibility. The possibility of intelligences from other parts of the universe, right, has long been something that we've contemplated. And if they arrived, would they overtake us? Would they outcompete us? Would they, where would they be on our hierarchy? And so I think the story of artificial intelligence just fits into this long-standing fascination that we have with our own position in the world. And we've long seen our intelligence as the thing that gives us that hierarchical status, power, entitlement. And I think the idea of a machine that could have those capacities seems both attractive and potentially threatening.